Hey guys, welcome back to Marketing Funders Global. This is the second video in this Microsoft PowerPoint for Business course. And in this video, we are going to tell you about how to select slides and layouts in MS PowerPoint presentation. Well guys, slides and layouts are the initial part of any PowerPoint presentation. And in this video, we are going to tell you about how you can select this, these slides and layouts and how you can edit these slides and layouts. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So guys, I have opened the Microsoft MS PowerPoint software and I want you to understand each and everything from the very beginning. That's why I've just opened the software and you have to uh, open this blank presentation in order to understand each and everything about layout and slides. If you want, you can use these templates as well. But for now, we are not going to use these templates because this is for a bit pro level. If you are a pro or you know each and everything about a PowerPoint, then you can use this te template uh, in order to create your PowerPoint presentations. But for now, we are using this blank present. So just click on this and you will be able to see this empty slide, which is already added here. This is the first slide, which uh, automatically gets add here. And if you want to add more slides, you just have to go this new slide icon and you will be able to add more slides. Okay, right now I'm in home section. If you are not able to see this menu icon here, then just click on this home icon in your uh, PowerPoint software and you will be able to see this menu here. Okay, now if I want to add new slide here, you just have to click here. As you can see, I am hovering this cursor here and it is showing new slide or control M, which is thus a uh, shortcut key to add a new slide here. So if I click on this, as you can see, here is the another slide, second number slide added here. Okay, and if I enter control M, it will automatically perform the same as I've told you that this is the uh, shortcut key to add a new slide. But let's say if I want to add any other type of slide, then I just have to come a little bit down and here is the, uh, here's the another button. As you can see here, there's two different buttons. When I'm hovering here, as you can see, it is getting dark. And if I hover here, the, this another but button is getting dark here. Okay, so if I click here, you will be able to see multiple type of uh, slides here. There's a, a title slide, title and content, section header, uh, then two content, comparison, title only. So these are the options that you can use to create your slides in further, okay? So let's say I'm adding this comparison slide add, okay? And now if I enter control M, then it will automatically add the same kind of slide which I've used in the previous one, okay? So this control M or this uh, this button, this new slide button works same, okay? If I click here, this will create the same uh, type of slide which is used in the previous slide, okay? So that's how these two options works. And there is another icon which is, or another option which is layout option. So let's say I have uh, this comparison uh, slide and I want to change the layout of this slide so I have to go this layout icon and click and here is the options which I can use to change uh, this layout. Let's say I want to uh, change it, this slide into two content slide. Okay, so just click on this and it will change the section or it will change the format. Okay, now if I want to change this uh, slide into another, any other kind of uh, slide, let's say content with caption, just click on this and it will automatically change. That's how uh, this PowerPoint presentation works. And one more thing, there are uh, two, three options to do or to perform any single kind of particular task. Let's, for example, I've told you to add or I've made you understand that how you can add a new slide here, okay? So there are two, three options. As you can see here, this is the first one. Just click on this and it will automatically add a new slide. Then there's one, another option, the control M shortcut key and the new slide has been added. Okay, and there's one more. Here is the option. You just click right here, right click here. And there's the third option, the new slide. Click on this and here's the new slide. Okay, also do remember that you can change the layout from this option as well. Just right click and here's the menu and here's the layout icon, layout option I mean, okay. And there's the, here's the options that you can change your slides layout. Let's say I'm using the comparison, comparison layout. This is the comparison layout looks like. Well, every uh, slide has a different kind of motive, different kind of uses which you can use 
uh, for example if i want to use this layout in in my powerpoint presentation so i i can use this slide to compare something let's say i want to compare two mobile phones the brand is apple and the model is iphone 13 pro and the another one is iphone 14 pro. and here i can uh, compare the uh, features of these two uh, devices let's say camera then ram then rom and then display then processor then battery capacity so that's how i can compare or i can use this slide to compare some okay and each and every slide have any kind of motive any kind of usage okay so you have to find it out that how you can use this slide how you can take benefits of this slide by adding these slides into your presentation okay so i hope you understand about this option this option and this option also there is one more option this reset icon okay for example this is the empty slide which is totally perfectly fine right now but if it gets changed a little bit for example this add some content here and and change to this as well okay so everything is messed up now but you want to reset or you want to get back this slide to the perfect or to the uh, previous condition so just uh, select this uh, slide right now if i have i'm in this slide select this slide which you want to get reset and then click on the reset button and it will automatically reset all, all the sections here i have already added some content here that's why it is uh, showing me something else but overall the section or the slide is reset right now as you can see here if i delete the content here as you can see it will show the same type of thing okay as you can see here so i hope you understand this uh, option this option and this layout option and the reset button okay so basically it is all about how to add new slide how to add a layout or how to change the layout of your uh, powerpoint presentation i hope you understand the video if you still have any question or query please comment down below although this is pretty much basic here which i have told you already okay and there's one more option okay if i can show you here that you can use the undo and redo options here as well uh, these two options are pretty useful also these two options are pretty common and maybe if you uh, know how to operate a computer uh, you already know uh, how to use undo and redo but for if you don't know how to use this let's let me tell you let's say i have added display here okay and if i delete this okay and you want to add again or you you want to go back to the previous condition of this slide so just press ctrl and z which is z and it will automatically go back to the previous condition okay and if you want to do a uh, redo if you want to perform redo a uh, function you just have click ctrl and then y it will redo the process redo or you can say it will redo the action okay i hope you understand uh, about undo and redo options as well so this was pretty much it about this video and i hope you understand the video these two three small options but important because as a beginner to understand about layouts and new slides is pretty important which will help you to create very impressive and useful slides useful presentations in future so stay tuned with this course stay tuned with the powerpoint presentation beginner course and in the next video we'll make you understand how you can create some impressive designs in uh, powerpoint and you can hit that subscribe button and bell icon to never miss an update about this course we'll meet you in the next video till then bye bye